Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last nine months, you've probably heard about the NFT boom. The value of CryptoPunks, which were given away for free to anybody with an Ether wallet in 2017, has risen to over 7 million US dollars. Earlier this year, Christie's auctioned the most valuable NFT ever for about 70 million US dollars. With NFT sales exceeding $1.25 billion in the second quarter of 2021, it's safe to say that this asset class is here to stay. It's also clear that even though there's a lot of money to be earned in the NFT industry, it's not always clear what distinguishes one NFT from another. While the NFTs that have sold for millions of dollars have probably caught your attention, you should keep in mind that the average NFT is worth about 120 US dollars. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the crucial areas and factors that can contribute to an NFT's value. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by saying so in the comments section down below. Now let's jump into it. So why are some NFTs worth millions compared to others? Things are generally more precious when they're scarce. Only one Mona Lisa exists. Only 59 LeBron James NBA Top Shots exist. One of which sold for 387,000 US dollars. But people are printing millions of NFTs, which is flooding the markets and causing a speculative purchasing frenzy. Thousands of people talk about what they're planning on buying on forums and chat rooms, hoping to inflate the price and then sell when they think they've made enough money. This demonstrates that the NFT market is still in its infancy. A lot of it's highly speculative and influenced by sentiment momentum rather than price discovery. It's similar to a gold rush, when people would spend thousands of dollars for pans and shovels and then millions of dollars for each rock discovered. Whether or not it's gold, these markets will definitely calm down at some point and the prices will begin to represent realistic demand, much like the primary and secondary art markets today. Now let's have a look at some of the factors that contribute to an NFT's value. First is the use cases of NFTs. Utility is one of the most hotly disputed topics in the crypto world, especially in NFTs. Is there anything it does that adds value beyond what it's expected to be worth in the future? Several exciting NFT applications have emerged in the last six months, whether it's upgrading video games by adding scarcity and ownership to in-game loot or power-ups, or creating a wrapper for numerous different token kinds inside one NFT. The sales history of NFTs. The identity of the original issuer or the previous owners can play a huge role in determining the value of an NFT. Well-known artists, celebrities, or corporations are frequently responsible for those with a high ownership history value. For example, the digital artist Beeple has sold three of the top 10 NFT sales of all time. And Sir Tim Berners-Lee, who sold an NFT of the World Wide Web code for more than 5 million US dollars. The rarity of an NFT. Because NFTs are one of a kind by nature, they have an inherent rarity. But it's becoming clear that some stand out more than others. And this is what I'm referring to when I say rare. Let's say a collection has 10,000 unique characters, like crypto punks. Some will have distinguishing qualities, characteristics, or attributes that sets them apart from the rest of the group. This scarcity is what drives up prices so much. Lucky Maneki is a great example of a famous collection with complex and important characteristics that make it rare. It's a 14,159 character NFT collection from Japan with a fortunate cat theme. Because they're constructed programmatically from a mix of 410 variable traits, each one is unique. Certain manikis are born with fortunate mutations that make them rarer than others, classifying them as either rare or epic manikis. You can be sure that if you can get your hands on one of the rarer pieces, then your investment will increase in value drastically. The liquidity of an NFT. An NFT with a high level of liquidity has a higher value. Tokens created on the Ethereum blockchain have a higher value than tokens created off-chain due to the liquidity premium. Anyone with Ether can buy and sell ERC standard NFTs on secondary exchanges. You may face liquidity concerns if the market for your particular NFT or NFT collection is not purchased. To put it another way, you won't be able to sell your asset if no one wants to buy it. Not at the price you're looking for, at least. Investors like to invest in NFT assets with a high trading volume because liquidity decreases the risk of holding onto NFTs that you don't want. Regardless of whether the current NFT mania will maintain its speed, NFTs have already accelerated a more significant trend of digital economic innovation. NFTs have confirmed that the public is becoming more accepting of a crypto economy and is willing to take short-term risks in exchange for new business opportunities. 
NFTs have already made considerable inroads into the luxury and gaming industries. There's plenty of space for them to expand beyond these early uses. The art sector will continue to be a significant part of the total NFT business, and it's expected to mature over the next several years. But other digital certificate applications such as trademarks and patents and training and upskilling certificates are also likely to gain in popularity as well. So there we have it. A closer look at some of the factors that determine the value of an NFT. Once again, if you found this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.